H2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Even if you don't know, you can tell I haven't done the research. At least he needs some answer from all the students. Uh -huh. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, interaction is more needed in Samsung. He, he looks very experienced person. So I, think. I know, but uh, yeah, I like the his class. <laughs> evening, we have his class. Hello. Uh -huh. Today yeah, evening, okay. do we have Sam's class? Mm -hmm. Had here in the morning, eight to ten, and tomorrow we have again. In evening, also he is taking some more session nine nine thirty onwards. I think. I don't know. I don't know about that. Hey, Sam taking. Class in the weekend as well. He has a weekend batch going on, ten to two. What um, he, what subject he teach? He do the QA, just the general. But every Saturday and Sunday, Sam has a class, ten to two. Ten to two for QA. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. And uh, you can attend. You can send him a request. Well, you can send H two K, and they can send you the link. Oh, in the morning to 10 to 2 every day, Monday to Friday? No, 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 no. It's only Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 2. Okay. Yes, four, four hours. Oh, okay. Okay. Are you attending that class? I am. Hello. Well, actually, this group discussion is for only for interview questions to share, to discuss about the interview questions, not about the classes. If we see such an instance, we will be cancelling the group discussion again. Now we can talk, you can continue the discussion. Can anybody come up with the Agile Scrum interview questions? Hi, actually I have a question. Can I go? Okay. Yeah, I have a question like what is integration testing, uh, application integration testing, and system integration testing? I know what is uh, like integration testing is like testing uh, each module and combining with other module and checking the data flow. And application integration module is like testing the application with third-party applications. And the system integration is testing with the both systems and checking the flow. But I'm looking the examples. Do anybody know anything about, you know, Integration testing and uh, and system integration testing. Do you have any idea? Integration testing and integration of all the you know different uh, modules. Means uh, uh, this the client company is uh, assigning uh, one particular module in a one version, in first version. After completing that, in second version, they are doing some it's another right. module. The integration of all the modules is. For integration testing. And uh, system testing is, uh, means integration of their software, hardware, their environment, their server, integration of whole system is basically called system. In my knowledge, this is called system integration testing. With the example? Example is like uh, uh, if you are, uh, if any, any company is working on Gmail. Uh, project. So they have different different modules like inbox. Then they have a mapping. Then they have a, some uh, you know Google Talk. These are different different modules. Then they integrate all these single uh, you know projects. This is called integration testing. Integrating of all the modules under a single module. You can make a big module and integrate all different 
small modules into one module. That is called integration testing. And after integration, they should work fine in a single module. Are you understanding me? I'm getting yeah. And in system testing, they should be uh, system testing. They should be work with any kind of hardware in different browsers, in different environments, in different uh, you know, in every uh, everything can be in a system. Means what you have, they have to uh, make a scenario in which the actual user is working. Means they, it, uh, this functionality should work properly with any type of hardware, either it is phone, either laptop, or uh, or maybe like uh, in different browsers or uh, whatever uh, the actual scenario can but, be. Uh, but the system integration is like is totally we we testing our system. We just think of application, our system is another system, like third party system. I think browser will not come into this picture. Do it comes? You are right. Browser is not browser is basically uh, can be under the module testing also. So system includes the complete environment like hardware, production, uh, software, everything. It can be in a production environment. I think in a system integration testing, uh, maybe um, um, server side um, and uh, client yeah, side. You're right. You're right. Uh, because during production uh, testing, server is also included in that data. So when you try to open an um, account, um, like uh, uh, just now we studied in a uh, this project. Um, there is a uh, hello. Can you hear me? Hi. Um, um, I just want to share my ideas of what I learned from uh, Sam today's morning and Sam's class um, about uh, system integration testing and uh, application integration. Um, I think integration is of uh, two kinds, like uh, they say system integration and application integration. And when you uh, mean system integration means uh, integrating, um, as you said, as people said, uh, it's uh, integrating uh, clients and server. Like uh, uh, if you take a CRM example, it's uh, integrating the e -com website and uh, CRM, which is in the server side. And uh, application integration is nothing but um, uh, all the modules inside one application. Like uh, if you take the CRM application, it's accounts module, cases model, activity module. Um, different persons will be doing um, each module uh, at a time, and then uh, uh, they sit together to integrate all the modules um, that's called uh, application integration. So, uh, integration, only integration testing. Oh, you want only integration testing? No, no, I'm just asking because you said like system integration testing also application. And uh, what about the in uh, what about, um, integration testing? <laughs> integration includes only uh, integration of all modules, different modules, small modules. Means the uh, developers always work. Uh, in you know, component wise, uh, their uh, manager or team if they provide some particular functionality to so make it a module. Then they, uh, as they uh, as they completed their module uh, and go forward, they integrate them according according uh, according to uh, whatever their requirements say and according to their priority level. They made the module first uh, first module according to priority, then second module. After that, they integrate all modules to make it a single application. If you are asked uh, in the interview about only uh, the integra uh, integration testing about general integration, you can say about uh, application integration. But if they specifically ask you about system integration, um, you can tell that uh, client server integration. So application integration and uh, integration testing, the both are same. Application and uh, integration both are same. Okay, okay. So application integration would be like uh, uh, integrating all the modules and uh, check like uh, how does they work all together. So, uh, 
yes like no when you go to a banking site and when you are trying to access like uh, trying to apply for a credit card so you have to go to that module right so before going to that module you should have logged in so these are two interdependent modules so they have to be integrated together so that is application level integration so after that if the banking module like no when you request for a credit card it has to go to like no some credit bureau and hit the credit bureau verify your credit history then based on that it has to go to the database collect the information and give it back to the uh, website like wherever you have requested right excuse me, excuse me i got a mail saying that everybody has to mute uh, whoever is talking can unmute and talk because it is too much of echoing they are recording the class so i got an email uh, just make sure that everybody a uh, mute while somebody is talking if not it's too much echo thank you okay so that is what i was talking like so when you request for a credit card and when it goes to the credit bureau so credit bureau can have a web services right in between so the web services and then it it can go and hit back the database collect the information and give it back to the um web, like the application website from wherever you have requested for the information so that that whole flow is system integration so the from start to end and how the data flows from the initial website which is like a bank of america website and how it goes to the database in between how the web services will collect and take and give the information so that whole flow should work when you integrate the application so that is system integration so the initial whatever i was talking about the login you should have logged in to go and apply for the credit uh, card right so that is application level integration that is good example yeah it's a very good example yeah can you please uh, explain system integration one more time your voice was breaking thank you okay, um so are you able to hear me right now so, yes so i was telling like when you go to a like any banking site for that matter so you have to be first logged in and then you can go to the credit card module and try to apply for a new credit card so from that like from the when you are try to apply for a new credit card your credit history will be analyzed right so it has to go and hit the web services of some credit bureau so because like bank of america will be requ requesting for the credit history chase will be requesting for the credit history so it's not necessarily bank of america and uh, chase has to have the same uh, technology right the web web application of bank of america can be in java and chase can be in dot net so it can be either way right so the if you go and hit the web services of the credit bureau which will be like a common platform and then it will go and hit the database get the response back and give it back to the website from wherever you have requested so this whole data flow from how you request till how you get the response back it has to be integrated right so everything to put together is system integration testing so you have to check like from the start till the end if the information is coming back properly it is called end to end uh, testing that is what it is called no like no you it, it can have n number of uh, wordings right like you can you can come up with any num kind of wording it you have to just understand the meaning of what it is right it can be end to end it can be system integration it can be anything okay 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 thank you application is uh, basically integration testing is done by developers uh, testers are, uh, testers don't have any role in integration testing testers have to do only system testing is it was that a question like uh, are you asking whether the integration will be done by a tester is it what you're trying to ask my yes No, I can't hear. Hi. Um. Actually, the integration of modules is done by the development team. Uh. But uh, once the modules are integrated, the tester has to test it, right? So the testing part of uh, all those integrations, uh, uh, which is made by a developer, is uh, the tester will do it. So once they is integrated, they will send us, uh, and then we retest it. And if there is any issue, then again it goes to the developer. It's kind of defect life cycle again. If you, if you find any defect or anything, it goes back to the developer again to fix it. Uh, you have not, to. 
హలో డెవలప్డ్ డూ ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ టెస్టింగ్ ఇస్ ఎట్ ద కోల్డ్ లెవెల్ నాట్ జియోఐ లెవెల్ అండ్ వాట్ ఎవర్ వీ డూ వీ డూ ఎస్ అయి లెవెల్ ఎస్ అన్ బటన్ ఎంటర్ ద ఫంక్షనాలిటీ క్లిక్ ఆన్ లోగ్ ఇన్ ఆల్ నైట్ డెవలపర్ విల్ డూ ఇట్ ఎట్ కోల్డ్ లెవెల్ Yeah, that was my confusion. Because somewhere I uh, read it that integration, is, that integration testing is done by developers. That's why I was asking. Thank you, Dinesh. Thank you. Thank you, Dinesh. One more question. Uh, if there is any scenario in which we have to start a new data from server and we have to test our test case manual test case from that data then how do we test that test case with with the huge data with that long data so uh, in that case only automation is the only uh, option or can it be done by manual also yeah any automation is has to go uh, at least one at least once we have to do manual testing before going for automation any test whatever it is we have to go manually first and then go for automation so like you the done with the manual testing and then uh, um and they decide like uh, we have to uh, go with this kind the of, kind of test cases with the automation and then uh, they figure out like what kind of test cases should go for automation like if you want to um do testing like uh, um, for each uh, each testing you need to test uh, login and uh, you have to login and log out so i think they make uh, those kind of test cases for automation so um, for you don't have to do it manually every time so uh, after they are done with the manual they decide uh, what kind of test case it goes for automation hello hello thank you Does anybody know about the ad hoc testing or smock testing, like a te- how to make a test cases for ad hoc or smock testing? It's also called uh, static testing, right? Yeah, it's a different static yeah. testing. Ad hoc testing, uh, testing is something like random testing. It is usually done by... an experience uh, testing engineer it's like randomly you test something maybe the re- out of your uh, requirement uh, you test something which is logical like uh, for example uh, for banking account mm, okay for uh, gmail login there will be requirements of uh, valid invalid and blank out of that Uh, out of all these three requirements you put something else and check like i might try to check like um, your your user id and my password that is not in requirement or i might try to hack somebody's account so i'll be trying so how does our uh, application react to those kind of random which is not in our requirement uh, that is called as ad hoc test Okay. So we do other yeah. yeah sorry ahead. other person user id and my password it is in requirement it is invalid data it is invalid test case um, right so error error testing means uh, no need to follow any documentation just open application and click on any button or do whatever you want like a monkey testing you say like a hard monkey testing would be you click on anywhere you type somewhere anything like that so all right so you check just play with the application and see it is working or not okay and uh, how about smock testing uh, it it may be like a initial testing like a, when the application it, it start or not like a, 
Hello. Uh, can I ask a question uh, regarding QTT? Uh, Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Uh, my uh, actually one of my company uh, as we have done QTT classes, but these are very very basic, you know, classes. We just know the functionality, main functionalities of QTT. We uh, have not gone to the descriptive programming and all. So should we uh, go for advanced QTT? I feel you know with basic thing, run and record, it doesn't work at all. If you have to apply for automation uh, engineer job, you have to go for advanced QTP. So I feel like you, if you are interested in VG script and uh, you know Sam is running the classes, you can ask uh, uh, the office calling them uh, when uh, when you can schedule for all the stuff. But I feel basically I just enrolled for uh, advanced QTP because basic things won't help us, won't get uh, us to uh, you know confidence of applying for automation. So if, if you are want applying to for manual testing, so we should not write QTP in our script. Yes, yes. If you are not, if you want to show QTP in your resume, you have to go for automation uh, advanced level because we learn they are only running the script and uh, most of the questions are descriptive. Uh, just uh, telling like I know and you go there, you don't know anything. So if you want to apply for automation engineer, you better go for advanced QTP. If you are applying for a manual, that is okay. Whatever knowledge you have, don't show them that you know um, automation. If you know automation, the then you have to go for like, uh, Does anybody know any website where we can learn advanced QTP? Yes, I'm is running the class. So why don't you call HQT and ask them if there is anything like running? Uh, you can ask all the details to the office. You can call them and talk to them. Hi guys, I have a question. 
this is interview question which we been asked to when we don't have enough time what testing we do रिक्वायरमेंट एंड देन Uh, we do those kind of test. It could be like system testing, integration testing. But the thing is, we will do uh, most of the testing based on the requirement criteria, criticality of the requirement. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we, yeah, like the as you say, as you said before, like we prioritize test case and we do ad hoc testing. I said, but somebody was saying we have to do exploratory testing. Uh, I do think I you need to you need to go with the ad hoc testing because ad hoc testing doesn't need any documentation or planning, so mm -hmm. it saves the time. And if a tester is experienced, he knows uh, what are the test cases that need to be executed. So he can just do that ad hoc testing, and he doesn't have to do any documentation. So if you don't have enough time, usually towards the end of the project, you know, you can go with ad hoc testing. But even exploratory testing also, we don't need any documentation, right? We can even go for exploratory, right? But and, uh, exploratory, and, yeah. Go ahead. And I think uh, risk analysis, you have to do that. Yeah, there. Are, like for this question, there are three, four arms are com coming. Like yeah, we have to prioritize test case, then risk analysis is there, and unlock testing is there, exploratory testing is there. But I don't know. You know, we need a proper answer for this one. Yeah, I really you have, like. Uh, I you feel like if there is no enough requirement can i oh, say that module has been uh, done later like latest build you test that first when there is no time according according to me i think uh, ad hoc testing and then risk analysis and based on the experience of the tester uh, you do the testing So one more thing, like if you don't have the requirement, enough requirements when you get the project, you can uh, always talk to the development team or the uh, program uh, project manager, and then uh, they will talk to BA to get the, uh, you know, overview. Sometimes we don't have enough requirements to write the test cases. That is when we go for the developer because they are the ones who write the code. Uh, so yeah, just yeah. yeah. Jayshree, but just like what you said, if you don't have enough requirement to start with, you talk with the developers, your project team, and you do the exploratory testing at that point. But when you don't have enough time, which is usually towards the end of the project, you need to do the risk analysis. You need to prioritize the test cases, and you go with ad hoc testing. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. But if you are applying for automation jobs, I I feel personally like I just joined uh, Advanced QTP. That is the best way to go. Oh, are we done with the class? I don't hear anyone. I don't think it. Maybe two hours class. My thing is gone here. I don't see that. Amarindo, it is a different look now. Yeah. <laughs> Find a unmute and mute button also. I think the stop recording now. We can talk. I think. I don't know because yeah. at once it at it's once recording so maybe. I, no, if we talk at once, it will echo again for us. So I was wondering. Mm hmm. Um, I wanted to ask like uh, I'm I just finished my graduation and. I'm really tight on my finances, so I cannot take advanced QTP class. So, if anybody knows any website where I can learn a little bit about advanced QTP, anything, please let me know. You can just type it here. So, who's speaking? Is is this being recorded now? No, no, it's not recording. So, who is asking the QTP uh, website? There is an open mentor is there. I think it's a very good site to learn advanced. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. 
थैंक यू सो मच हेलो हेलो रिकॉर्डिंग हैज बीन स्टॉप्ड नो इट इज हेलो कैन कैन यू गाइस हियर मी यस 